Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will walk you through my new PPT lesson at the supermarket. This lesson is designed for grade 3 or 4 learners, but if you have strong students, it can also work in grade 2. In this lesson, students learn what they can buy at the supermarket focusing on food containers and finish this lesson in dialogue practice. This PPT lesson is available for sale in my store on Teachers Pay Teachers. To download it, please follow the link above or click on the link in the description below the video. If you like what you see on my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to turn the notifications on. This way, you'll never miss a single upload and help your fellow teacher grow his channel. Enjoy the walkthrough and I'll see you in my next video. Let's take a good look at this PowerPoint lesson. So as you can see here, we have two sets of rules. You can choose whichever you want to go with. You can go with a more advanced one. What is rule number one? What is rule number two? What is rule number three? And so on. Or you can do the easy one. Yeah, you say five and then students uh, put their feet on the floor, four hands on the desk, three eyes on me, two listen to me, and one be quiet. Uh, now, um, you can choose your own warm-up activity, but I strongly suggest that you also ask what day it is today, because I think it's good practice for your students. All right, so let's get to uh, the class. New words. We have eight vocabulary words here. So you show the picture and then uh, see if your students can say what it is. This is flower. And also, uh, after you click next, you have a sentence here. This is a bag of flower. So you are introducing the word, and it's very possible that your students already know the word. And also, you're introducing um, food container. This is a bag of flour. So, uh, and this is also a way how you can differentiate between your strong students, your strong students are going to say the sentence, and your weak students who are going to say the word. Let's continue. Chocolate. This is a box of chocolates. Honey. This is a jar of honey. Milk. This is a carton of milk. Soda. This is a can of soda. X. This is a tray of X. Olive oil. This is a bottle of olive oil. Fruits. This is a basket of fruits. Here we go. Now we have task number one, listen and say. In this task, um, like one of the ways of doing it, you can invite um, a student from each team to stand up and then you say one of the, like you name one of the pictures. For example, a carton of milk and whoever says the correct letter first gets a point and then you invite the next pair of students uh, it's just one of the ways of doing it or you can do it as a choral drill when you say a word for example a bottle of olive oil and the whole class should say c and then you say a basket of fruits and the whole class has h um, two different ways of doing it it's really up to you which one you prefer Task number two is match and say. In this task, uh, you may want to go from one to six, or you can choose different um, numbers. Uh, it says here, click on the red circle to complete the phrase. So if you click on a circle, uh, it will complete the phrase, a jar of pickles. 
yeah so you can do it this way um, I suggest that you again invite a pair of students one student from each team to stand up and you say the number for example one and then they need to complete this phrase whoever says it first gets a point so for example you say one and then your student should say a bottle of um, water and then you click on click one and they can see the answer here so it's just one of the ways of doing it all right let's continue task number three choose the odd one out here again you do it in teams so you display the first um, set of words and you can use it as an example so they need to pick the odd one out they need to tell you what's different can we say a bag of potatoes can we say a bag of water can we say a bag of apples which one is different and the answer of course is a bag of water do you understand yeah we understand excellent then let's say Lucy and John please stand up here is uh, example number two which one is different which one is the odd one out and uh, whoever says a box of uh, milk gets a point and also make sure they don't just say milk but they say a whole phrase a box of milk if it's a little bit challenging for them then i guess it's okay for them to, to just identify the word that's different and you play this with the um rest of the words they're all displayed here by the way okay next exercise at the supermarket so this can be a group activity let's say if you're doing it in grade four so read the text here tell them that gary is in the supermarket what does he want to buy your students need to look at the speech bubble and they need to complete the sentence gary wants to buy three bottles of water a jar of honey and a bag of flour and then you display uh, the answer for everyone to see in grade four you can do it as a group activity put your students into uh, groups and then read the text mrs green is in the supermarket with her son kevin what do they want to buy in groups they need to write down the answers if it's too challenging for your students um, if you are teaching this lesson in grade two or three they can just say it it's fine too so mrs green wants to buy um a box of tomatoes and a bag of rice there we go here's the correct answer and kevin wants to buy two cartons of orange juice and a piece of cake and here's one more um example with three people in the supermarket mrs jones uh simon and bella all right and we finish this lesson uh, in dialogue practice it's actually a game to do that uh, again I think it's best if you invite a student uh, two students from each team this time two students from each team and turn it into a role play into a dialogue so one student for example asks the question what can you buy at the supermarket and then the other uh, student uses the sentence starter and choose any item he wants on the screen so for example he can or she can say i can buy a carton of milk so uh, he choose or she chooses the carton of milk when you click on the carton of milk you see how many points um uh, this team gets and then you invite uh, the next pair of students from a different team and ask them to do the dialogue what can you buy at the supermarket i can buy a can of soda mm, let's see how many points you have three points yeah and we have two more slides here uh, where you continue this game here we go yeah uh, let me show you 
This activity is optional. You can assign it as homework or you can do it in class if you go quickly through uh, the content of this lesson. I usually assign it as homework, you know. So here your students need to make a poster. They're gonna need a piece of paper and a few colored pencils. They need to make a shopping list and draw the food from their shopping list. And here's an example. So in my shopping list, I have a box of oranges, a can of cola, a carton of milk, a basket of fruits, and a piece of cake. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And if you did, please follow the link in the description uh, go to my store on Teachers Pay Teachers and buy it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.